Hi, Mike Hebert here. These three hitting drills develop a compact baseball swing. All hitters should strive for a compact swing because it allows for hitters to wait for the ball as long as possible while still providing the necessary power to drive the ball. This is a work in progress for young hitters, especially those who lack the hand and forearm strength to handle the bat. It should be pointed out that the hitter's goal in all of these drills is to hit line drives with backspin by initiating a downward swing and then an upward arc on batted balls. As noticed, a compact swing begins with the correct starting position of the hands and the bat when the front foot lands and the correct first move of the hands and hips to deliver the bat to contact in the most efficient manner. A long swing on the chest high pitch will cause hitters to hit the tee often and pop the ball up. Notice the bat barrel stays close to the hitter's head which is a good way of explaining what a compact swing is and that the bat gradually levels off at contact. Of course the hit line drives the inside bottom half of the ball is hit and this may cause the tee to fall. A falling tee does not mean an incorrect swing as many kids think. Not hitting the tee top slightly means hitters are hitting only the top of the balls and producing ground balls which is not the usual intent of hitting. Another good way of developing a compact swing is with this double ball drill. This helps teach the compact swing on lower pitches also, which is often the one that hitters drop their hands on. Once again, line drives with backspin is the goal. In this drill, the rear ball is set about a ball's distance lower than the ball to be hit and about a foot behind. Many young hitters who have big uppercut or gradually drop their hands will benefit from this drill as continually telling them to stay on top of the ball does not change their swing until their muscle memory changes. This drill will build top hand strength which is the hand closest to the bat barrel and the one that provides the whip of the bat after lead arm extension. Finally, many people interpret the words staying on top of the ball to mean hitting ground balls, but that is not correct. Staying on top is a compact swing that keeps the hands above and inside the ball and delivers the bat to the inside back of the ball to produce line drives with backspin.